boil water orders are in place for nearly all of Southeast Texas. Hampshire Finette and Deweyville are the latest to make those advisories this morning. There are now so many that we can't list them all, but you can get an updated list by texting the word water to 409-838-1212 and we will send that information straight to your phone. Now here are some tips if you do have to boil your water. You want to heat the water until bubbles come up from the bottom of the pot. Once it reaches a rolling boil, let it boil for another two minutes. Once the water cools down, it's good to drink and use to cook with. And here are some do's and don'ts. Do not use your ice from the ice makers. That's from the tap. You can bathe and take a shower, just don't swallow the water. Don't brush your teeth with that tap water and use bottled water instead. Use your washer because that's okay. And dishwashers are okay too. Just make sure you turn on the high temperature or heat dry feature. Bursting pipes only expected to get worse as our temperatures continue to go up and down. Ice has more volume than water, so when water freezes inside of a pipe, it expands and increases pressure. That pressure needs to go somewhere, so it literally bursts right out of the pipe. And if it happens to you, getting help right now isn't easy. Here's William Joy. They woke me up this morning saying that we were flooded. You know. This is a lot. Marie Wilbanks feels forgotten. And I was just sitting in there just a minute ago. I'm thinking, how can I get the rest of it out? She's been without power for more than 24 hours. And this morning, a burst pipe flooded her apartment where she's been taking care of her granddaughter and great granddaughter. I try so hard to give her and her baby a, a good place to live. And now all of this. Across Texas, pipes have frozen, burst and flooded homes. All are asking the same question. Why me? Well, right now it's nonstop phone calls. David Butler is the master plumber at Milestone. You know, I think we'd have been all right if we wouldn't have the power outages as bad. They're making 150 calls a day and are already booked through Tuesday. His best advice to those with frozen pipes is to turn off water now. If you can, keep trickling faucets. As it gets up freezing and above freezing, uh, it's just going to be exponentially worse. Texans are hurting. I've tried to get in touch with Encore. I've tried to get in touch with my electric company. Nobody will answer. As the cold ends, many will need help facing a new fight. I'm like, one more battle, but I can make it because I've been through so many. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.